Okay, so for this particular shape called perimeter of irregular shape, so this shape is called an irregular shape, is the combination of different shapes, okay? So if you look at this circle very well, we have the semicircle, we have the triangle, and each side of the triangle makes a semicircle. You will see that each side that has four centimeters is giving you this shape, okay? It's giving you this particular shape, which is called a semicircle. So how do we get the perimeter of this shape? How do you find the perimeter of this shape? If you look at this shape very well, this shape consists of semicircle, which later forms a triangle. It later forms a triangle at the center. So we have one triangle and we have three semicircles and the semicircles are the same. So now, perimeter of a circle, which is known as circumference, perimeter or circumference. Perimeter or circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r or pi d that's pi diameter now if you have to find the circumference of a semicircle semicircle means half of a circle so circumference of semi circle that's half of a circle would be equal to half because it is half of a circle so that is half times 2 pi r or half times by diameter so that's circumference so now we have three semicircles and they all have the same diameter you can see I've drawn it out here this is a diameter okay this is a diameter because that's the line that divides the circle into two equal halves so you can see the side a and the side B okay of the triangle makes the diameter of this semicircle that I'm seeing here. So I will name this semicircle 1. I will name this semicircle 2. You can see this is diameter of this semicircle. Okay, I'm trying to highlight it very well. You can see that that's semicircle 2. Then this particular one is semicircle 3. Now they are the same diameter. So we don't need to do circumference of the semicircle separately. Once we find one, we can multiply by 3. Okay, so now this is the formula for semicircle is half times 2 pi r or half times pi d when you're being given diameter. So that will be equal to half times, since we have the diameter, since we have diameter and not the radius, we'll be using half times pi diameter. So that will be equal to half okay times pi pi means 22 over 7 so you replace pi with 22 over 7 times d d means diameter and the diameter here is 4 centimeters okay that's the diameter so now we are to reduce the fraction we are to simplify the fraction 2 can divide 22 so 2 into is 1 2 in 22 is 11. So as it is, nothing can divide again. So 11 times 4, that's 4 centimeters. 44 centimeters. Then 7 as the denominator. So that will be 44 divided by 7. So let's convert that to an, uh, a mixed number. So 44 divided by 7. So that will be 6 whole number because 6 times 7 is 42. So 42 out of 44, you're left with 2. So 6 whole number, 2 over 7 centimeters. If you are to convert it to decimal number, that will be 6.7 into 2 is impossible. We have points. You add 0 here because of the decimal point. You place 0 there. 7 into 2 has 2. That's 14. Okay, we are left with 6. We are left with 6 right here. 7 and 6 is impossible, but because of this decimal point, we can put 0 beside it. 7 and 60, that's 8. 7 times 8 is 56. 
okay? If we continue like that, we will, we will continue to have a particular number that is recurring. We will continue to have a particular number that is recurring. So we can stop at two decimal places, which is 6.28 centimeters, which is 6.28 centimeters. So we have gotten the answer for the first semicircle. So now, don't forget that all the semicircles are the same. They have the same diameter. You can see the first one, which is 4 centimeters. The second one is 4 centimeters. The third one is 4 centimeters. So they are all the same. So instead of me finding the perimeter of the other two semicircles, I will only multiply this particular answer by 3. So total perimeter of semicircles okay total perimeter of the semicircles of the semicircle so that will be 6.28 centimeters times 3 because we have about three semicircles there so you do two point uh, 6.28 centimeters okay so let's multiply 3 times 8 is 24 write 4 carry 2 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 that we carried is 8. Then we have decimal point. Then 3 times 6 is 18. So we have centimeters. So this is perimeter. So for the three semicircles, the total perimeter is 18.84. Look at the so now look at the so now look at the triangle. We also have to find the perimeter of the triangle. And for the triangle, we have three sides. And all the three sides are equal. That's why we have 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 4 centimeters. So when finding the perimeter of a triangle, you add up all the three sides. Okay? You add up all the three sides. So that's what I'm going to do now. So we're going to find the perimeter of the triangle. So perimeter of the triangle. So we have 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters. So that's to tell you that it is an equilateral triangle because all the three sides are equal. Okay, a triangle whose three sides are equal is called an equilateral triangle. So now this is 4 into 3 places. That will give you 12 centimeters. So now the overall total perimeter of the shape Okay, so total perimeter of the shape. We are going to add up all the perimeters together. The perimeter for the, for the semicircles and the perimeter for the triangle. So that will be semicircles. Okay, semicircles plus triangle. Semicircles plus triangle. So that will be 18.84 centimeters. 18.84 centimeters plus 12 centimeters. So 18 plus 12 is 30. So the answer is 30.84 centimeters. So this is the answer to the perimeter of that irregular shape. Okay? Or we also call it compound shape. When you have a shape that is not just one, you're seeing different shapes in one shape. You call it a compound shape. So this shape is made up of three semicircles and one triangle. So you need to identify the shapes that are in one shape. Okay, you need to identify the shapes that are in one shape before you can find the total perimeter. I hope you understand and I hope it is very clear. So now that is how to find the perimeter of that particular shape. So you can attend this class again from the beginning so you can have in-depth understanding of this.